Well, it's here. It's finally here. Summerpalooza 5 Steven Universe Marathon. A long time coming marathon that I've held on hold for so long. Believe me when I say this, there were a lot of decision makings when it comes to making this marathon happen all year rather than today, which is the first day of summer. But believe me when I say this, I really wanted this to happen ever since I got into Steven Universe for nearly four years ago, which was July that I got into the series completely. But believe me, it was totally worth it. Through the entirety of summer, from the first day to the final day, I'm gonna be reviewing almost all the episodes from Steven Universe, despite skipping several episodes. And in September, I'm gonna be reviewing the Steven Universe Future episodes, and I'm gonna try to review all of them. Since to tell you the truth, there was a lot to discuss involving those episodes, but less said about that, the better, since we're starting off with the Season 1 episodes, and we're gonna begin the double uploads tomorrow. So let's kickstart Summerpalooza 5 Steven Universe Marathon with the first episode of the series, Gem Glow. Steven is really upset that the brand who made Cookie Cats have, discon have discontinued due to competition, and after getting the offer from Sadie to take the freezer that has the Cookie Cats in them, Steven accepted. The gems are trying to get rid of the centipedes, and when Steven tried to express that though that his favorite ice cream sandwich is completely gone, it wasn't the end of it. Because the gems managed to get more cookie cats before it discontinued. Which made Steven really happy as he sings a song and it causes his gem to glow. In order to figure out the solution to get his gem glowing, Steven took advice from Paul, Amethyst, and Garnet, and he comes up with his own solution by trying to have his gem glow, which, see, which he succeeds. And one of his gem powers is activating his shield. To be perfectly real with you, I first watched this episode back in 2016, mainly the fact that I was watching Uncivilized Elk's Adventure Time reviews, and... I decided to watch this episode along with the final episode of Season 2, and to be perfectly real with you, I wasn't ready for this type of show. Believe me when I say this, around the time I didn't have a YouTube channel until June, I didn't watch My Little Pony yet until the following month, and to tell you the truth, my limitations on watching cartoons back then were non-existent, since I only resorted to watching classic cartoons, all the while it was at a time when I was a junior in high school and I mostly focused on what I had that keep me occupied. Believe me, I had nowhere to go when it came to not having a YouTube channel, not being into My Little Pony or Across the Girls yet, and when I first watched this episode for the first time, it didn't grow my interest. Believe me, it takes time to get into a cartoon, and it only took me four years to finally get into this cartoon. So after we watching this series, not to mention we watching this episode again back in 2020, my perspective of this episode has changed and it changed a lot more after we watching it in preparation for this review. Gem Glow is really one of those episodes that really has the humble beginnings written right on it when it comes to Steven's development. On the fact that he really needs to activate his gem, but he just doesn't know how to. And considering that in the later entries that I'm going to be discussing as we continue on with this marathon, these episodes have aged differently the more I think about it, and more for everyone else who is willing to rewatch this series for the second binge watch. And considering that binge watches only happens once when it comes to watching a show for the first time, my perspective really feels like that this show has improved differently when it comes to the audio episodes, especially of how the final episodes from not only from this show, but its epilogue Steven Universe Future has changed drastically. What I really appreciate from this episode is not only the introductions of the characters which are done good, 
but mainly the fact of how the environment, which is Beach City, really showcases onto why it's all taking place in Beach City. Granted, the Beach City episodes are a different story, but when it comes to the conflict centering around the main characters, especially the enemies that, that, that they have to face in order to save Beach City and the world, there was a lot going on, and if we actually had an episode where Steven was born, mainly turning into Steven, which which Steven is technically Wall's court at the end of the day, it probably won't even work, and it'll probably take it. It'll probably take away the creativity and admission that this show has been building up. The corrupted gems, the centipedes, and the centipedes mother. I really felt like with these types of characters introduced, which leads to another conflict or story arcs that Steven is growing a relationship with one of the, with one of the centipedes. It really made me think that there was a lot more going on. Granted, like I said, I'm not going to be talking about all the episodes, but believe me when I say this, the more I look at these episodes, the more I realize that there was a lot to work with. Especially since that this is also the arc where Steven is trying to activate his gem, but he can't be able to since that he doesn't have the answers completely. He assumes that eating cookie cats while being happy while singing a song will work, but apparently it didn't work. So he was sorted by using the cookie cat fridge to fire off against the centipede's mother, which he succeeds. For someone who really appreciates this show a lot more back in 2020 during his binge watch, this second binge watch was a different experience, but I still have the same vibes like I did back in 2020. Let me just say this right now, that this episode gave me a better impression on what I feel about this show, and we've just started. I'm giving Gem Glow an 8 out of 10, and the double uploads start tomorrow. It's going to happen for at least a month until we get back to uploading one video per day. You guys are going to be in through a wild ride after going through this experience. I can guarantee you that. I'm Lonely Fanboy Foy here, and I'll see you more with Summer Palooza 5 Steven Universe Marathon. You.